what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling really good. good. Hey guys, we back again with a new video guys. I'm excited, I'm ready guys. Liam, he's a makeover. Yeah, just looking yeah. really stunning guys. Today, today we're excited. Also, Mike is sounding way better, way stable. Uh, welcome to the Perseverance guys. Today we're going to be reacting to the geography of Indonesia guys. This is going to be our first time checking out the whole of Indonesia. I always want to check out some videos but mostly do more about music uh, and I was like let's give geography of Indonesia a try let's see how big Indonesia is we have no fans over there so let's see how the land space is how big they are and more about the culture so let's just give this video a try uh, this is going to be our first time checking this out and seeing how Indonesia really look like and how big it is uh, I know about the singers but it's not actually their country themselves so let's give this a try you know how I'll do it Everybody, so if you don't know anything about Indonesia, basically all you have to know is that it's kind of like the Hawaii of the Muslim world, but it's like huge. It's like the biggest state and with orangutans. And that's it, just no punchline. Hawaii of the Muslim world. Go to the intro song. It's time to learn geography. Hey everybody, I'm your host Mark. <laughs> so as some of you know, I've been to Indonesia one time on one island for like three hours. I ate one dish. So basically, I'm like the Indonesia expert, right? Well, <laughs> not, I'm kind of like the only guy on YouTube doing full profile videos like this. So for now, you'll just have to kind of deal with me for like the next 12 yeah. or so minutes. Woohoo! Yeah. Default! <laughs> Again, if you don't know anything about parts. Indonesia, it's basically like if the Middle East and South Asia had an incredibly colorful, loud, somewhat explosive set of babies. Like thousands of them. Okay, that doesn't really help. First of all, Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago nation located right where the Indian Ocean meets the Pacific Ocean on the incredibly clustered set of islands making six countries known commonly as Nusantara or the Malay Archipelago. Indonesia. Hey, never about oh, sure, whatever makes you happy. Indonesia actually has land borders with three of these countries, East Timor, Papua New Guinea, and Malaysia on the biggest island Borneo or wow. Kalimantan which is one of the world's only two triple split nation islands the other one being Cyprus Ooh, take okay. Indonesia is really big I wasn't expecting <laughs> that it's just really wow. big damn it's beyond what I was thinking in my head exactly it's really big I'd love to visit that country one day wow I hope it's similar that land space looks very big yeah and it's kind of like on the river Ocean side, yeah. yeah. It's so good. Could be really cool over there. Could go to the beach. Imagine taking fishing out. It's really nice. I'll enjoy it though. It's really, really nice. You should plan something like that. Yeah. Tourism is really good. Yeah, you just see different places. You meet different people. Just it's one of the dishes like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know we have to make a video about Yeah, we really know a lot about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Let's keep watching, guys. Technically, if you include the UN buffer zone, it's kind of like four entities, but the UN isn't a country. Whatever, just watch the Cyprus episode. The country is divided into 34 provinces, five of which have special administrative wow. statuses, with the capital and most populous city, wow. Jakarta, located on Java, the world's most populous island, with nearly half of the entire population of Indonesia in it. The largest cities after Jakarta are Surabaya and Bandung, both located on Java Island, and Medan, located on Sumatra. Ooh. Jakarta, Soekarno, Hatta International, Bali's Mura Rai International in Despansar, and Surabaya's Juanda International. Now here's where things get a little speculative. Wow. Today there yeah, are still arguments claimed as to exactly how many islands Indonesia has. The National Coordinating hmm. Agency for Surveying and Mapping says Indonesia has about 13,500. The National Institute of Aeronautics and Space. Shit! 13,500! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I've never been this impressed in my life. This is so good! I am what? fucking impressed. That's, that is big. That number is really, really, really large. So it would be like 500 or 1,000. Thousand. 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 That's a lot, guys. That's, That's a lot. lot. I'm so happy for checking out this video. Just make us aware of what is going on everywhere. Make us understand a little bit more about Indonesia. Sure. Check out the 13,000. Yeah. 
so don't. Otherwise, the largest mountain, Pungkak Jaya, is located in the east in Papua. The longest river, the Kapuas, flows on Kalibantan, or Borneo Island, starting in the east, emptying into the South China Sea. The largest lake, as well as the largest volcanic lake in the world, Lake Toba, can be found on Sumatra. This is also the site of the largest speculated volcanic explosive eruption on Earth that essentially created a worldwide volcanic winter. The eruption was so big that you can literally observe ashes from the explosion that went as far as Malawi in East Africa. Remember, guys, Mother Nature is beautiful, but if she wants, she can kill you. Close to Pungkak Jaya is Grasberg, the largest gold and copper mine in the world. <laughs> I love Mount so Pijen on people. Java, which spews out blue lava. All over, you can find intrepid sulfur Ooh. miners that literally go into the base of the volcanic craters, risking health just to get raw sulfur ores. Otherwise, you have other anomalies like the Sidorajo mud volcanoes, the three-colored lake Kelimutu in Flores, and the Kakaban Island jellyfish lake. Too many strange places. To this day, Indonesia is the number one producer of palm oil, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, coconut, and vanilla. Some national dishes might include things like rendang, satay, or satay, gado gado, lontong, ketupat, papeda, ikan bakar, pempek, tumpeng, lemang, and the national dish, oh, nasi goreng, nice. which basically just means fried uh, rice, which has no exact egg. recipe. You can mix it up and kind of do whatever you want to it. Oh, and keep in mind, Malaysia might argue good. that some of these dishes belong to them, but that's a whole other story tied in with history and culture. Eh, we got time. Why not talk about it? <laughs> Now, there's a lot of curious mysteries when it comes to Indonesia's people. Like, how did they become predominantly Muslim? Or what's the whole deal with them in Malaysia? Or wait, this guy is considered an Indonesian? What? First of all, the country has about 263 million people, making it the fourth most populous country in the world, with the largest population of Muslims as well. Now, here's the thing. In a sense, yes, 95% of the population is considered native Indonesian. So that's an incredibly broad term, considering that Indonesia has about 300 different ethno-linguistic groups split up across all the island regions of the country. If you look at a map with the actual ethnic group break, down, it kind of looks something like this. Nonetheless, the two largest parent ethnic groups are the Javanese that make up about 40%, the Sundanese that make up about 15%. Otherwise, the rest of the population is primarily made up of smaller groups and tribes that have only around 2-3% each, like the Batak, the Sulawesi, the Balinese, Minangkabau, Betawi, Papuan, Dayak, and so on. Finally, about 5% are non-indigenous Indonesians like Chinese, Arabs, Ooh. Indians, and even a few Europeans. They also use the Indonesian rupiah as their currency, they use the Type C plug outlet, and they drive on the left side of the road. And here's where things get a little confusing. Culture and language. The mm, one thing that kind of unites all Indonesians is that they share the national language Bahasa Indonesia, which means the Indonesian language. However, Bahasa Indonesia is actually kind of like a lingua franca to many of the people as Indonesia is the world's largest trilingual country. In addition to Bahasa Indonesia, most people speak their own mother tongue as well as English. Yep, English. They caught on quick when they realized it was the money language. The funny thing is, even though the Javanese make up the largest people group, the Javanese language is not an official language. Technically, it could have been, but then that would have favored one people group over all the others, which would have caused tension. So they kind of had to choose like a neutral default. Plus, Javanese is like really hard to learn and the original writing system although very beautiful is incredibly difficult to write nonetheless at nearly 100 yeah. million speakers this makes javanese the largest non-official minority language in the world and that's why the bahasa indonesia language is so strange it's not even technically indigenous to indonesia but more malay derived to this day people who speak bahasa indonesia can understand somewhere around 60 to 70 percent of what their neighbors are saying in malaysia the biggest difference though would be the loan words as indonesia took quite a bit of influence from the dutch back in colonial times for example kantor versus kantor Doctor versus doctor. Mantel, mantel. Oma, opa. Vorto, wortel. Speaking of the Dutch, quick history lesson. Hindu kingdoms, Buddhist kingdoms, Islamic kingdoms. The Portuguese come in quickly, wow. but then the Dutch flock in. Japan comes in for a couple of years and decimates a huge chunk of the population. Independence, Republic, the Suharto years. Controversial incidents and fights with ethnic Chinese, Timorese, and Papuan peoples. Suharto falls, Reformation period begins, and here we are today. In Indonesia, all citizens are required to register under one of six so recognized religion yeah. categories. Islam, Protestant, Catholic, Hindu, Buddhist, and Confucianism. If you don't identify with either, then... Sorry. Prior to Islam entering around the 13th century, Indonesia was actually primarily Hindu and Buddhist. It's disputed on how exactly Indonesia became prevalently Muslim. Some people will say that it's because of the Arab traders that came by in the early first millennium. Others will say that maybe it had to do with the Malacca Sultanate conquest that fought against the Hindu and Buddhist kingdoms. And the truth is, both might be right. Inevitably, Bali became like the last sort of haven for whatever Hindus were left. The eastern Nusa Tenggara region and the Papuas remained predominantly Christian as the Dutch and Portuguese shared the gospel. Islamic culture in Indonesia is a little different from what 
what it looks like in the Middle East. For one, most mosques don't have the typical dome structure, and actually many of them resemble Hindu temples, like the Damak Great Mosque. When a family member dies, their relatives might often come together and pray for a whole week, and then again on the 40th day, and then on the year anniversary, and then on the 500th day, and so on. Also, the night before Eid al Fatir, the youth might gather and go around neighborhoods reciting the takbir. Those are some things you don't really typically find in the Middle East. Clothing modesty customs are pretty loose. Not all Muslim women wear hijabs, however, the ones that do might also complement it with Western clothing, like branded t shirts with skin tight sleeves and jeans. When I was in Indonesia, I saw a hijab wearing woman with short sleeves and capri pants exposing her calves. I was like, can they do that? Now, in terms of culture, again, it depends on where you are, and many indigenous people still follow ancient traditions. Everything from the Minangkabau candle dance to the gamelan players of Yogyakarta, Wayang Javanese shadow puppetry, Balinese festivals, Sumatran Pencaxilat martial art tournaments, Kenya motif paintings of the Kalimantan tribes, the deadly Pasola game played by Sumba peoples, Karabeng cow racing on Madura Island, the strange burial traditions of the Toraja people, and everywhere you can find those pointy longhouses. Otherwise, some notable people of Indonesian descent might include people like the first president Sukarno, Gada Maja, R.A. Kartini, B.J. Habibi, Iko Uwais, Yayan Ruhiyan, Sesep Arif Rahman, Agnes Monica, Iwan Faz, Angun, Megawati Sukarno Putri, the Hartono brothers, and YouTubers Brian Emanuel and Raditya Dika. Now, it's so hard to cover Indonesia's culture because there's so many different people groups, each with their own cultures. It's insanely colorful and rich. I wish we could cover more, but we gotta move on to some diplomatics, shall we? Okay, so Indonesia is basically like the kingpin of Southeast Asia with the largest population and economy as well as being a member of the G20. Therefore, they know how to manage relations. First of all, the rest of the Muslim nations in the Middle East generally get along with Indonesia as they see them as kind of like their strange Asian cousins. Indonesians make up the largest group of pilgrims for the Hajj in Mecca. However, there has been some controversy with Saudi Arabia in regards to migrant worker abuse and death sentences. Since then, Indonesia dramatically decreased its expat programs. The US, the Netherlands, and Australia are kind of like their biggest non-Asian supporters. In addition to trade and business, the U.S. played a huge role in Indonesia's independence, and they worked closely during Cold War times. Wow. The Netherlands still holds close ties to Indonesia despite post-colonial bitterness. Plus, tons of Indonesians live in the Netherlands. To this day, they have the second largest population of Indonesians outside of Indonesia after Malaysia at nearly 2 million. Australia gives some of the most aid to Indonesia, wow. especially after catastrophe incidents. And even though there are some controversies involving immigration and attacks on Australians abroad, they still share close ties generally. Now, Indonesia and Malaysia are kind of like the Colombia and Venezuela of Southeast Asia. They're like the twins mm. separated at birth and have a strange love-hate relationship. Malays accuse Indonesians of stealing their culture and language. Indonesians accuse them of not being grateful for all their help during war times. But when they actually meet up as people, it's like they're totally brothers. Nonetheless, most Indonesians I talk to have said Japan is probably their best friend, which is funny because Japan kind of really messed things up during World War II. Nonetheless, they've moved on and today Japan makes up the largest export partner. Tourists flock in year round and the two have been building each other up for over half a century. In conclusion, Indonesia's people are very much like their islands, numerous with lush, colorful, strange diversity. Sometimes a cyclone, earthquake, or volcano of controversy erupts, but at the end of the day, they still flourish together as one. Stay tuned, Iran is coming up next. Wow, wow that is, that was a lot to just cover in, in 40 minutes. He did a good job. did a good job, but I couldn't get everything. It was very fast. I feel like we'll be watching this video again the second time. Um, have a note. Like, it's just like that quick, down to that down. quick thing you read for exam. Yeah. Just pour it in heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. We're ready. We're ready. Yeah, yeah. It's, it was so fast. Everything was so, 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 so fast. I want to watch it again the second time. Take it note and jot that thing down. And know more about it. Like, well, I love the island. That one is 17,500. You know, just they have like 17,500. Yeah. That was impressive. Speak. It's really big. So <laughs> like the numbers are crazy. Like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, mostly on the ocean side. So, yeah. so it's yes, it's supposed to happen. It's really nice. I love the the most. Uh, it's it's very big and really beautiful. The culture, the food, everything mm -hmm. looks very fast, fascinating and beautiful. I would love to check it out. I would love to visit that country one day and see more about it. The way he visited it and know more about the culture mm -hmm. and everything. Was like if I think if you're a Christian, you stay over there. Yeah, because like, just Buddha, Muslims, are some other. I'm happy they speak English too. So you can yeah, to according to him, yeah, that is that is, that is a good part that I love about it. Like people speak English a lot more than Vietnamese. I think they're Vietnamese. Um, 
when I saw the English term money, they pick on it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that business minded. That's good. That business minded. I would love to visit a country very soon. Like, I would love to visit Indonesia because I've heard a lot, a lot about it. I'm just watching the video right now because I want to know more about it. So, uh, let's do that music. It's really nice. It's just really cool. Ooh. I love it. I love it. I love, it. I love this guy. What is his name? Reza. Reza is from there too. So this music was very impressive. The TikTok single of TikTok. Uh, I love I love his vibe. I love his clothes. I love his voice. Hello. Uh, Spirit of Papua. Yeah, Spirit of Papua. Spirit, Spirit of Papua like, it was like an eye opening of how Indonesia really looks like. Like, well, let me see how Papua really looks like. Because Indonesia yeah. is bigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let me see how Papua really looks like. It's really nice. It's really nice. I would love to visit Papua. I would love to visit Indonesia and see more about them. I feel like they are very hospitable. Uh, they accept foreigners just for tourism. Uh, I've heard about it now, but I really would love to visit that country very soon. All right. I did enjoy it. I, what I enjoy most about this is the fact that despite um, the civilization, despite the fact that we're in the 21st century, yeah. they still hold on to their culture. Cultural, yeah, that's like, very valuable. When you were talking about different cities, they still up to them. I'm like, wow, this is beautiful. Like you really want to go there and just watch all these things, like it will give you eye opening, you'll be able to see people in different colors, different looks, and you're just going to enjoy it. I love every bit of it and I'm still marveled about the seventeen thousand yeah, islands. Like it's a lot. And they're very, very big, like the land space, everything is yeah. very huge and the people are very many and like it's very beautiful. But I would really love to check it out. I would love to see. This was a wonderful video. I love his sense of humor. Yeah. The way he talks, you just want to watch more about the video because he's very welcoming and he's very entertaining. So I really did enjoy watching this. He made us understand a lot more about Indonesia that we knew before. And it's very interesting. I really yeah. love it. Aside the tragic experience, the earthquake, the volcanoes, yeah. it's, it's really bad. I know a lot of people are losing life through that time. Let's say condolences to as many have a life to sort of incidents. I don't know how you guys face it over there. This is my first time over here about it. So yeah. it's, it's roughly happened now. Yes, it happened like almost every And the deadly king, there's a game he mentioned, like, I think a bull or cow. I don't know. Also, yeah, like, a of stuff. I, think, I, I was very scared. There's some games over there, are, like, those are some deadly games, like, very yeah. dangerous things. Like, Especially the cow. Yeah. Like, you might fall. I feel really they're, they're expert. I would love to watch it, but, but not to do it. I, I don't want to play the game, I just want to, I just want to watch it. Yeah. I can I see a ride on a horse. <laughs> I just want to watch it, guys. This every moment of this was really amazing and very exciting. Uh, we get time to learn more about Indonesia, learn more about the geography, about their, their history, about their heroes. You mentioned some names of yeah. people, I could not remember, I guess. And he mentioned some TikTok, some YouTubers. YouTubers, yeah. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, I really love that. that. It's, it's really nice, guys. Comment down below if you're checking this video out. How was your reaction? Comment down more about Indonesia. We need to know more about Indonesia, yeah. guys. What you think that he didn't see over here that you think we should know, guys? Comment yeah, down below. Yeah. Definitely check it out. I'll know more about you guys. We're going we're gonna to visit you guys very soon, guys. We'll see us over there, Indonesia. Hmm. Oh, I love to check that out. Especially the, the island. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be cool over there. But I don't know where they go to. See, I know about Papua, but other places. It was mentioned in there. Some Jackanas. Maybe I'll, Jack, I'll Jack, try. Is it Jack, Jack, Javan? I can't pronounce it. Guys, comment down below, <laughs> guys. Comment down below more of your. More of our donation, guys. Subscribe to our channel, guys. Give us a thumbs up. Share this with us. Many of us, guys. You know how to change this saver, guys, into a good button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure. Subscribe. We'll see you guys in this video. Make sure you stay. I just bought a bag, like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers Pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all